What's up, y'all? Just wanted to hop on tonight. Um, want to talk a little bit about the Jezebel spirit that is operating inside Narcissus. And this is a special request from one of my viewers, so shout out to you um, tonight. Um, so let's get into it. Um, I'm just chilling here, kind of unwinding a bit tonight, y'all. Cheers. So, let's get into it. Um, so the Jezebel spirit, basically, um, that is what is operating inside a narcissist. You know? And I'm going to particularly talk about the Jezebel spirit and how it manifests and shows itself in men although it does operate in women too because Jezebel the demon Jezebel is um, specifically a female and if you look at the story of Jezebel in the Bible basically Jezebel was a um, prostitute and she was basically this evil vile character in the Bible and did all these types of things um, to basically you know, bring herself the worst type of karma to where she ended up being ravaged and eaten by wild animals, torn apart. So basically all of her karma came back to her. And Jezebel, the Jezebel spirit and the, the Jezebel demon is uh, very jealous, very petty, um, envious of others, jealous of others, um, you know and competitive and um you know spiteful full of hatred uh, always trying to sabotage other people and their happiness never wants other people to be happy or um is jealous of other people and what they're doing um you know what they love doing what they're good at whether it's playing music or um or painting or anything so, so basically, um, the way that this operates, this Jezebel spirit operates in men, is it shows itself as um, it shows itself as very jealous. Now, this spirit operating in, in guys will show itself as these these guys, these men will be jealous of the, the women that they're with. So these these men with the Jezebel spirit operating them will be jealous of the woman that they're with. So whether that's their, you know, it could be like a sister, it could be a girlfriend, it could be a wife, whatever. So, so that Jezebel spirited man is going to be jealous of the woman that he's with. Now, typically when we see like, you know, uh, men being jealous of women, they're typically gay men who are, you know, jealous of women and trying to compete with them. Now, narcissistic men who have that Jezebel operating in them are jealous of women. Um, so that spirit operating in them is feminine. Jezebel is a female spirit. So naturally, they narcissistic men, they behave like women, jealous, petty women. So that makes sense because that's the spirit operating in them. Um, you know what I mean? So, so because of that, um, you know, they are going to be jealous. They are going to be petty, and um, they are going to be competing with women. So that that's um, that's just how they're going to act. So so this is why narcissistic men who who have the Jezebel spirit are nine times out of ten they're on the down low. You know they're they're secretly gay, but they they can't just come out with it but you know narcissistic men who have the Jezebel operating in them they're usually like 100% of the time bisexual so they can swing either way with men or women because remember it's all about attention and it's all about getting that energy from people 
Um, so they don't care who they get it from. Um, it could be male or female. So they'll swing both ways. It doesn't matter to them as long as they're getting what they want from that person. So they can pretend to be gay one night and then the next day they're straight, you know? So they, so they, they, they jump between the two depending on what they want from whoever they're with. So they can be anything anybody wants them to be at any given moment. Um, they are like chameleons. They are, you know, um, they just, they just show everybody everything they want to see. They tell everybody everything they want to hear to get what they want out of people. And they have no identity. They have no sense of self. But going back to the way this Jezebel spirit operates in men, in narcissist men, is it shows itself as, you know, like I said, this, this jealous, hateful, envious like woman almost that's competing with you you know that that's obsessed with you they, you know if you're their girlfriend or wife like they are in a competition with you they are in a competition with you and they're always going to be trying to one up you and win and compete with you now that is a feminine Jezebel spirit operating inside of a man because real men I'm sorry real men who are secure and confident and are not are not struggling with their sexuality they're not you know um they've you know accepted their past um they've moved on from their past even if their mom didn't treat them right they still don't take it out on women so um so the whole point is that um these type of men like they are going to be competing with you the whole time and trying to win. Like I said, a real man, someone who is very confident and secure in himself and knows who he is, uh, he's not going to be doing things like trying to compete with the women that he's dating or with. Um, he's not going to be, you know, trying to tear down the self-esteem of the, the woman that he's with. Um, he's not going to be, you know, uh, gossiping behind people's backs like... You know, it's a very feminine thing to do. So he's not going to be constantly gossiping or, or uh, you know, running smear campaigns on people. Um, so, you know, uh, that's just all of these are very feminine behaviors, feminine traits that these narcissistic men exhibit. And they're very cowardly as well. They're very weak and cowardly. So you'll see with like real men, like strong men, you know, they, they don't back down usually from an argument or a confrontation and they protect their women they're with. Well, a narcissistic man that has the Jezebel spirit operating in him um, will not be protective of the woman that he's with. He will not, you know, put her before himself. He will always put himself first. He'll never ever sacrifice for her. He'll never protect her. So that's one of the differences, um, you know. He will never protect the woman that he's with. And if anyone else is coming for her or trying to harm her, he will he will stand out of the way and he will allow them to harm her because he will not put himself in danger to protect his lady. So that's the difference between a narcissist who has the Jezebel operating in them and a real man is that the narcissist will not put himself in harm's way to protect his woman like most men will. So you'll notice that, that they're very weak and cowardly and they will not put themselves in a situation where harm could come to them in order to protect the woman that they're with. You know what I mean? So, um, very cowardly vibes. You'll get these very like weak, you know, cowardly vibes from them. And, um, and you know um it's just it's it's you'll, you'll sense this like i said this, this this feminine energy from them um and, and you'll know it you know you'll know it um they will not protect you they will not sacrifice for you they will not do any of that um and they will side the jezebel spirit in these narcissistic men they will side and tag team with the with his family members specifically the women in his family so what they'll do is they'll they'll tag team together to try and tear you down. So what man do you know that sides with women to try and tear one woman down? 
You know what I'm saying? So that man is on the DL. He's on the DL. So, you know, he's frustrated. And he's taking it out on women. Instead of just coming out in the open with it, you know what I mean? And just saying, yeah, you know, I like to swing that way. But see, like I said, narcissistic men um, who have that Jezebel operating in them, they, they are very feminine in their behavior. Um, and they typically like to be with a woman who has her shit together, who's very successful, independent, strong-minded, um, doesn't need a man. Uh, doesn't need anybody really to validate herself. She just can be, you know, put on a backpack tomorrow and go to Kenya and have a good time and come back, you know, like somebody who really does not need the attention or the validation from other people. Um, and is someone who is focused on their own goals, their own life, they stay in their own lane. You know, they want someone like that. They want someone like that who is strong minded, who, who knows who they are, who who is confident in themselves, who has good self-esteem. They want someone like that to hold down the fort. They want someone like that to be like their source of stability while they take off and do God knows what with God knows who, you know. Um, so they want to use that type of woman who's, like I said, independent and, and who who has all her shit together. They want to use that type of woman as a rock as a source of stability to leech off of while they go and do their dirt everywhere and they know they can always come back to you because you're that source of stability so they want to be with a woman like that you know and they don't want to have to do a whole lot of work either they're very lazy so they don't want to have to to put out much work um, for any type of relationship so what better match than somebody who's very independent like I said a very independent woman who has her shit together and doesn't need you know the attention validation money approval you know anything from a guy that's perfect for a narcissistic man because he can, he can take advantage of all those qualities that you have of being independent and use them to his advantage so he doesn't have to put a lot of work in to, to, you know, to take care of you, to take care of your, especially emotional needs. If you're somebody who's so independent, you can literally take care of your own emotions and you don't need to rely on anybody else. Like, that's perfect for a narcissist because then they don't have to put in any work to help you out. They don't have to put any work in to support you emotionally because they know you have your shit together and you're stable and you can support yourself emotionally. So, so it all makes sense, but... Um, but don't allow, like, you know, these narcissistic men, these Jezebel men, to use those qualities against you, you know. If you're, even if you are independent and emotionally, you know, independent and you have your shit together, don't, still, like, don't allow anyone to take advantage of those qualities because you deserve support and especially emotional support just as much as anybody else. It doesn't matter if you're independent or not. You know, so just be mindful of that. Just be mindful of that. So, um, but yeah, guys. Um, so that's that's basically what it's like. The Jezebel spirit operating in operating in a man it, that's what it looks like it looks like somebody who is competing with you who is competing with you this is not somebody who has your back this is not somebody who is supporting you or somebody who's there for you this is somebody who this is somebody who is in a secret competition with you and anybody who's competing with you secretly that person doesn't like you. They don't have your best interest. That person is not ha does not have your back. Because somebody who cares about you is not going to compete with you. Somebody who cares about you is not going to be jealous of you. 
That is a person who does not give a flying fuck about you. So, the only thing that they like you for is what they can use you for and what they need out of you in the moment. So that's another thing about Jezebel is Jezebel is an opportunist. Jezebel, you know, takes advantage of people and is opportunistic and just wants what she wants. When she wants it, she's an opportunist. So that's how narcissistic men act, um, is they act like opportunists, you know? And that's why narcissistic men who have the Jezebel in them, who's operating in them, don't mind using women for money. They don't have any shame. Because real men would would feel shame. They would feel shameful using a woman for money to pay for their shit. Real men, they want to pay for their own shit. They would feel shamed and they would feel so ashamed of themselves if they had to ask a woman for money. That that would be that would bring shame to them. But narcissists, they don't have any shame. They do not have shame like normal people have shame. They don't feel shame. They do not feel any shame at all. That's why they can do what they can do without any shame, regret, or remorse. You know, they're psychopathic. They don't have any sense of guilt or shame or remorse. You know, so for them, it's nothing. Um, that's why they can do everything that they do. Um, so yeah, real men, they will feel that shame. They will not take advantage of a woman like that. They would feel too much shame and they have too much of a sense of pride to, to use a woman's money or to have her pay for shit. Real men, no, their egos... <laughs> they don't allow them to, to, to have women pay for their shit, I'm sorry. But narcissistic men who are filled with a Jezebel spirit, they don't mind women paying for their shit. In fact, they feel entitled to women paying their way, paying for them, just for being present, just for being in their presence. I mean, it's really sick, but it's really sick, you know? And... You know, um, it just, this Jezebel spirit, it is a demon and it's operating in them. That's why narcissists across the world, male and female, but we're talking about men in this video, they all act the same. They literally all say the same things. They do the same things. They act the exact same because they are infected with the Jezebel spirit. That Jezebel spirit is what's infecting them and causing their narcissism. You know, and they like those demons operating in them. They, they, they like it. They think it's making them powerful, but really what it's doing is destroying their life. The Jezebel spirit does not build anything. The Jezebel destroys everything it touches. That's why all their relationships, all their friendships fall apart. They destroy and sabotage. Here comes a street cleaner. <laughs> they destroy and sabotage all of their friendships and relationships. You guys, they destroy and sabotage all their relationships because because it's it's that it's that Jezebel demon operating in them it wants to destroy everything it touches and that's why nothing lasts with them nothing lasts everything they destroy everything they touch the Jezebel spirit is a jealous, envious demon, and it does not want the narcissist to be happy, and it doesn't want anyone else to be happy either. It is jealous of other people's happiness, and the Jezebel spirit thrives seeing people unhappy and in pain, sad, depressed, angry. That's why narcissists, they love to take photos of you when you're not looking. And they love to take pictures of you when you are sick, when you look very sad, depressed, angry. They love sneaking pictures of you when you're in those states of emotion because um, they love taking pictures of you like that. 
because yeah they 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 love seeing us in that state because like I said they do not want you to be happy they do not want you to be happy you know so they need you to be in these states of pain anger sadness depression and they want to they thrive in that when you're in pain that's why like I said they like to take photos of you without you looking of you feeling depressed angry sad all that so they can look back at those photos and laugh and get satisfaction off your pain so remember guys anybody who gets satisfaction off your pain they can go die somewhere you know what I mean they can go die and that's what I have to say about that. So with that being said, I'm going to hop off, y'all. Um, so please like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Uh, and don't forget, you can always give me suggestions for videos. I love hearing y'all's suggestions. Um, Please let me know if you would like me to make any type of particular video on any type of topic in the comments. Um, please share this video, you guys. Um, and I love you all. Appreciate all y'all. Thank y'all so much for your support and your donations. And just, I appreciate all of you. And without y'all, this channel, like I said, it, it would be nothing. So... We are growing in numbers. Um, empaths are coming together, like I said, they're uniting and really helping set this game right. And uh, we are we are helping rid the world of this evil, of this demonic energy. We are helping to rid the world of this shit. And with all of us who post these, you know, who, who these types of messages, these, these types of videos, we are helping, you know, change the world. So uh, with that being said, I love you guys. I'm going to take off and I will talk to you soon.